G'day ladies and gents and yeah. welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance with Mags and we are currently making our way towards the Sassau Monastery where we are going to try and work out what the hell is going on with our stone supply and well we've got some uh, ruffians to try and locate around the town of Sassau as well. I hope you enjoy. And there is the monastery. Alright so it's a little bit past lunchtime at the moment. The best bet is probably to go in and actually speak to them now. Everybody should be up and awake. So we'll go and make some inquiries, and then we'll head into town, sell off the gear that we're carrying at this point, and start inquiring about Sir Redzig's mission. Right, so this is all what the stone's going into here, the, um, the massive monastery. Alright, so I suppose we're supposed to talk to you, Brother Porter. Can I take a look inside the monastery? What's got into you, boy? The grounds inside the monastery belong to the monks of the Order of Saint Benedict. No others shall pass. Guess not. Um, I'm here on the surface of Talmberg. That's... You can be a little bit more subtle, Henry. Jesus. I've been sent here from Talmberg. I'm to speak with the one responsible for construction. That'd be the master builder. Or with our brother, the overseer. What matter is it you're here about? It has to do with the stone for construction. Ah, then that's a matter of supply. You'll want to talk to the overseer. He knows more about that sort of thing. His study's right above us, more or less. Go up the steps to the left, and then head back in this direction, almost the whole way. Okay. Farewell. Fair enough. Alright, so we'll have to... Mola? I'm looking for whoever's in charge here. The construction's led by Master Builder Corel. You'll recognize him easily enough. He's the only one who doesn't look like a laborer. But if you want to talk to the overseer, then he's probably in his study at the top of the stairs in the gatehouse. Okay, fair enough. All right, so this place looks like it was. It's not like it's being built. This place looks like it was built and it was destroyed, and it's in the process of being repaired. Yeah, that doesn't scream construction to me. That screams this place got fucked and they had to bolt it back together. Um, before we do that, we'll actually head back into town first. I think I want to find a bathhouse to clean up and I want to get all my clothes mended and I wouldn't mind getting some repairs done on all of my armour as well. Just for the, the charisma bonuses. We're getting the whole, has somebody stolen your fancy clothes? response from a lot of people at this point. I'm assuming everything's a bit shagged. Fixing it all up and getting it all nice and clean will do wonders for me when I have to, if I have to start having um, checks with these guys. So, quest giver. Hmm. Yeah, anyways, he will be the one to speak to, I think. Although, First stop, we should swing in here and talk by my old friend. And see if he wants to buy all my crap so I can take all his money again. Hey, Good day, Henry. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. Yeah, a mighty good mood considering what our uh, interactions have been like so far. Let's talk trade. Get the armorous kit, get the bacon. You're buying most of everything off me these days, which is good. Sometimes. All right. Well, that should have a sell. Should, 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 should. Let me just double check that before I open my big mouth. Three point six. Okay, that has us our three k. So the next time we go past the Talberg Quarry, we'll have enough to be able to get our supplies. So that's not bad, and we've still got stuff here to sell. 
and we have other blacksmiths to sell too. So we'll go through and make sure we clean the rest of these up. But first, our first stop is going to be, there's an activity giver in there too. Um, talk to the innkeeper about the creeps. So we'll go there first. Yeah. See what they've got to say before we head into the town proper. I reckon one of these is probably going to lead into us getting into a fight. Just for the record. I'm, I'm, pr I'm almost positive we're going to wind up in a fight over this at some point. Which is fine, that's just more gear to sell. God bless. Can I help you? I'm looking for some people. Place to sleep, let's talk trade. Anyone here need help? I'm looking for some people you might know something about. If they come here to drink, maybe. But I won't aid you in any mischief. I've heard some rough men come here looking to recruit. Have they ever stopped in to eat or drink? Or to arrange something? There were some brawlers that used to fight behind the tavern. But they raised such a commotion. I went and complained. And the town watch drove them off somewhere. I wasn't thinking about that lot. I'm looking for recruiters that hire mercenaries and other cutthroats. You don't know about that. Every once in a while, a merchant will hire some help or an escort, but nothing more. Nobody comes here regular. I'd notice if they did. Where are these brawlers now? Do you happen to know where the brawlers you complained about moved on to? Um, I, I've not got the slightest inkling. Oh, I'm just glad all the shouting stopped. It scared the horses in the stables. And they may have already been recruited. You haven't heard talk of any scoundrels in town? Well, I have heard some things, but I can't say if they're true or not. <laughs> There's some that talk just to hear the sound of their own voices. And who's the most frequent topic of that kind of gossip? Miller Simon. They say he's rich with coin, and it's not from the mill. But that's nonsense. Folk just don't know how much a mill can earn. Anyone else? Right, you're really gullible. Right, there's talk of the knacker giving people the evil eye. Or then that's not in Bailiff's good graces. But I don't suppose that's what you want to know. Alright, so... Thank you, innkeeper. Not at all. Would you like something to eat? Or drink? Hmm. Not now. See you later. But I might soon. Alright, so that gives us some new people we're going to have to talk to here. So we've got to go back and talk to the overseer. Ask Miller Simon about the crimps. And he's up there in an area that we haven't explored. So that's tempting to go to just on its own. Just because it's up there in the middle of nowhere. And he'll be a good one to ask because I know what the millers get up to. Ask Sassau Knacker about the crimps. Hmm. Alright, well at the very least we've got to ride into town and speak to the blacksmiths here, so we'll get that done next. Can't sprint my overloader. Look, I'm trying to do something about that, alright? Yeah. So we'll speak to the knacker first, after we've spoken to the blacksmith here about dumping off the rest of these goods. And then we'll go up to the miller. Haggle. Let's talk about the price. And I take it at a slight well, discount by a couple of groschen and take a reputation bonus out of it. Aye, oh, that would do it. Yeah, there we go. We get a small reputation bonus nicely. All right, a little bit more gear still to get rid of. So we'll go up to, yeah. well, we're gonna head down to the knacker. This guy here only deals in weapons, I think. That's 
weapons or armor, so he's one way or another, he's not going to be useful for everything. But the guy through here, we can get uh, a little bit more out of. Before we go in to speak Ladies to the Ladies and gentlemen, Come the things I got to do for all the money. Master Order, stop. <laughs> stop. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. You will. Let's talk trade. How much have you got? 2.8. Okay, I should be able to clear off the rest of this. Check basket. Let's haggle. I'd like to discuss the no, price. I want a bit more out of you. Hmm. Alright, so? Let's go 5-5. Five, five. Are we agreed? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Alright, so we're going to bring it to 490. 520. Aye, for that amount I can be persuaded. Cool, excellent. So I want you to cover some of the cost of my repairs. About repairs and select pretty much everything at this point. Alright, that's going to be 324. All right, now I can actually find out whether or not these are better or not when they're on equal repair. So I'm not sure if it's actually bringing it up. So that's what I've got. Yeah, 21, 21.8. Yep, they are better. Yeah, it was just that they were broken. I was right. Um, we lose 16, 14. We lose two charisma in the process. So I won't put them on just yet. But I will put them on in just a moment. Uh, I, will, I will put them on once we've done the talking around here. So I still need to find a bathhouse as well. Where is the bathhouse in Sassau? We never stopped by. Baths. Okay, the baths are up here. We might actually go to the baths first as um, uh, baths first before we go and talk to the knacker. Because then we can have all of our gear all nicely mended and have the maximum charisma and so on and so on. All of our maximum bonuses for speech will be at full. I think this was the right turn. It was, but I shouldn't have turned. It should be through here. Should go into the baths. Okay, so I want Jesus a... Jesus Christ, your clothes. Were you assaulted? Damn bandits, may they burn in hell. And this is why I wanted to stop by the baths. I use the baths. I'd like services. to make use of the bathhouse's services. Uh-huh. And what are you... Try want? and talk like less of a creep when you say that, Henry. Uh, bath... What do I want? Heal runes, bath and laundry... Have a bath and water my guns. Get myself fixed up a bit. Have a bath and get my clothes washed. As you wish. Do you have the coin? Yeah, Fine. ten. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. God be with you. Cool. Alright, so that has Henry all nice and clean and shiny, and I think. Repair, uh, 89. The Gabeson is still not repaired, but it's close enough. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Probably have to go to a tailor's in order to get that repaired, actually. Is there a tailor in town? Sorry, guys, I'm going to drag you around here as I try and get all my shit fixed up. Trader. Scribe, armorer. Herbalist, grocer, baker. Where the hell is the friggin' tailor? Beehives over there. Cobbler, tanner, tailor, right there. Should look for the scissors. 
All right, so last house on the left, not far from the knackers. So that's all right. We'll go there next thing. That should be the one just over here. Get a quick repair yeah. to the last of our gear. I know we're spending a bit of money here at this point, but I really needed to get this done anyway. So should be this one, I think. Yes, it's the one on my left, so... So it looks like the entrance is over here. Get the rest of my gear all fixed up and cleaned and doing good things. That looks like the tailor's entrance. Townswoman. I guess the tailor is upstairs. No, that's a private area. No, he's in here. Okay. I'm honoured that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mouse, stop doing that. That repairs. Okay, let's repair. Yeah, it's not that bad, I don't think. But, no. Oh well. Come on, we'll just close the deal on that. So that should be... Armour. Everything now at 100%. So we should be all clean and shiny and looking good and smelling good and all those kind of good things. Now we can go talk to some people about some yeah. bandits and then, you know, possibly kill some people. But you've got to look good doing it. You've got to look good doing it. So the knacker should be down here. God's blessings. What can I do for you? All right, are you the knacker? Are you the local knacker? I'm the local grave digger, but if there aren't any burials to take care of, I'll turn me into Well, then you might know a lot of things that others don't. I'm a decent man. Not always honest, but decent. That's fine. I want a decent, but not always honest man. Anything fishy going on in these parts? There certainly is. Candles are being stolen from the church. As brazen as that. What sort of people do that? Ah. Oh. But have you heard of anyone around here hiring adventurers and bandits? How would I know that? Most people avoid talking to me. I don't even go to the tavern much these days. And what's been happening in Sassau lately? Nothing interesting. Except maybe that bitch being slaughtered. What? Who was she, a villager? I wouldn't call that nothing interesting. No. I mean a dog bitch. It was a while back, but they called me to clear it up. What happened? The dog looked like she'd been hacked to bits. They were scared it was some demon. But as far as I could see, someone took a sword or an axe to her. Hmm. Why on earth would anyone do that? What do I know? Maybe he was snooping around where he shouldn't, and a bitch went for him. I hear there was some dog-bitten fellow being cared for at the monastery. Only they kept him there on account of a broken leg. Maybe that's the same one. Hmm... Thank you. Well, that's interesting. Very well. Feel free to stop by any time. Help the man People with the People shy away leg. from me, except when there's a death or the cesspit's full. I'll see you later. Hmm. I'm not sure if that relates to anything here, but... It's interesting that the guy just happens to be up at the monastery. Although I suppose the monastery is also sort of serving as a hospital, so maybe that isn't as suspicious as it uh, it may seem. It could just be my uh, my biases towards the whole thing here. Um, hmm. All right. So the next stop is definitely to go up to the Millers, and then we can come back and see what's going on in the town. Yeah. Right, come on, puppy dog. Let's head up to the Millers next. And this is a new area of the map too, so I've never been here before, so this should be a new, interesting place to check out. Alright, so... This looks like our destination. And this is a really pretty place to have a mill.
It's a really pretty place to have a mill. Well, Simon. Good day to you. Let's have a chat. Listen, have you heard about anyone looking to recruit men around here? Or planning some kind of mischief? No. Come on. I know how it is with millers. I've been friends with a few and they hear all the gossip. So go ask them. I doubt their ears reach all the way here. Then it seems you're out of luck. Well... Surely we can come to some arrangement. I don't much care for strangers. So? What do I have to do to get in your good graces, Master Miller? Well, if I heard from those Miller friends of yours that you can be relied upon. Alright. I'm gonna go speak to... My name is Henry and I'm looking for paid work. So now I've got to go speak to one of the other millers and come back. G'day guys from Future Me. So I had a small glitch in my recording software at this point, so this is uh, a little bit moved along now. Uh, basically, I gave up on the miller and we've decided to ride back to the monastery and just continue our investigation without the miller's information. One is the guardhouse, and the other is the overseer, which looks like he may be... That's the overseer. Okay. I hope I can be of help to you, knight. I've come in the name of Sir Divish. I'd like to have a look around the spot where the accident happened. And why is Sir Divish interested in that regrettable accident? He'd like to know what role the masonry had in it, or at least its quality. I guess it played a crucial role, but I don't intend to stand in the way of your investigation. I've already made sure the poor man was well taken care of, and that's enough for me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Who's responsible for the purchase of materials? Who's in charge of purchasing materials for the construction? Mainly it's me. I pay the fees and make arrangements for delivery, but those in charge of the actual building take care of the rest. I'm not knowledgeable when it comes to the quality of stone. They had the red stone delivered from a long way off. They take care of storage as well. Yes, but usually whatever arrives is used up straight away. The construction is in full progress. Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Do you remember when they brought the last delivery of stone? Yes, it rained a lot that week, so they let the carriage sit right outside of the gate on the other side of the wall. It took some time before it was dry enough for further transport. And there wasn't anything strange about it? A little strange, I suppose. Usually they bring us a large block of stone, which the builders cut to size. But this time it was a number of smaller pieces. No one complained. They probably saw it as less work. I heard you were late with your payment to the quarry. I heard that you were late with your payment to the Talmberg quarry. That's true. We ourselves had late payments, and it took some time before we gathered enough money to pay. But that's happened in the past. God be with you. Okay, so... Late payments, stone outside, instead of large blocks, small blocks. Uh, we're sort of doing two quests at the same time here. Master Builder. Right, so that's the actual... There he is. That's the actual, what it will look like when it's completed. Quite a pretty building. Anyways. Good health to you. The sure, overseers the happened. You're to show me the place where the accident happened. <sighs> like I've got time to spare to show you round. He should have done it himself. Why do you want to know, anyway? And have you noticed anything else going on? I'm just going to change of questions course. and subjects here. It's a construction site. Things are always going wrong. The men are always complaining and the work isn't being done fast enough. 
So it's just like any other building work? Essentially, yes. Occasionally someone brings in bad wood or a man cuts off his thumb and blames it on a bad omen. And then there's all these rumours going round. I'd be interested to know what the men talk about. Who's been stealing? Which men from the monastery go to visit women? How the work's going? Normal things. It's only the talk about the curse that's not in the normal run of things. And then there's that devil's skull they dug up. You talked about the devil's skull? I did. They say it was found in the hole dug for the foundation of the scaffolding. They moved it so it would do its harm elsewhere. But I wasn't there to see it, so I don't know. And who might know more? Shouldn't you be investigating the stone? Leshek's in charge of the scaffolding, so ask him if you really have to know. He might tell you something. Hmm. Who's stealing? Could someone be stealing the stone? According to the rumours, everyone from the abbot and the custodian down to the lowest labourer. It's like with whores and dice. There's no protection against slander. And something gets lost here and there, that's true. But nobody stole any stone. There wouldn't be any left if every man here started helping himself, would there? Okay. Because of the Talmberg stone. If they really are delivering poor quality material, then there should be consequences. I'd be interested in what kind. <laughs> but I'm guessing the Overseer likes the idea of cheaper stone, right? Show Where's the scene happened. of the accident? It didn't happen on the main site. It was at the outbuilding next to the church, right under the long stairs before the entrance door. Ask my assistant who's in charge there. You'll easily recognize him. He dresses up like he owns the place. May the Lord watch over you. Okay, look around for clues. So, everybody's a bastard up here, apparently. Everybody's a thief. Everybody's doing the dodgy. They dug up a devil's skull. I'd be interested to know exactly what that's about, so I kind of do want to know what that's about. You. Okay, so you are definitely the guy who dresses up like he owns a place. Tell me something about the wounded man who's in charge of the smaller site. Where were you when it happened? Probably the best question to ask first. Where were you when it happened? I'm not even sure. Somewhere else. I ran over when I heard the screaming, and they were already taking him away. Did you notice anything suspicious? No, I didn't. These things happen with great building works. It wasn't the first time, and God forgive me for saying it, but it won't be the last. That's fair enough. Can you tell me something about the poor wretch with the broken head? Yadok, he was a decent person. You could rely on him. He was honest, went to church. Why do you want to know? Did he have any enemies? Somebody who would want to... Kill him? You think someone threw that stone block on his head? It's possible. Go looking for the culprit and have a look at the stone. Who's in charge of the place where the accident happened? Me. I watch over everything here, and when necessary, I go to see my master. Apparently you don't watch over it well enough. He's kept busy enough with the construction of the church. And are you responsible for checking the stone? <sighs> yes. And apparently you're pretty shit at we your job too. We what load they could handle and how much they crumbled during dressing. But some of them must have been more weathered than we thought. Hmm. I mean, it's possible. All right, so I guess we're gathering clues. And this seems to be the area where the accident took place. Uh, easy lockpick. So we'll uh, we'll rob the place later. All right, so this is the door to the inside. God, don't do that. That's how I got an injury last time. I noticed some of the stuff around the monastery is... Whoa. 
yeah, this. This is how I got injured last time. Um, yeah, some of it doesn't clip particularly well. All right, so that's probably the door that he was talking about, and he said that the injury or the, the death happened here. Not seeing any blood. Another chest. We can definitely come up here and possibly make some money, although we're making plenty out of the bandits at this point. Not even sure what that is. And yeah, just vegetables and crap. Um, so it doesn't look like there's anything down here. What clues are we looking for? Come on, let me up the steps. I'm not sure if this is just because I'm wearing so much damn armor, or... Yeah, some of these places are clipped particularly well. Ah! The stone fell on him here. You can still see the marks. Alright, so this is ground zero. Would have fallen from up there somewhere. Nothing else. This has to be the stone that hit him. I'll take a piece of it. Maybe someone will recognize it. Interesting that the stone's still just sitting there. And it won't let me up that stair. This isn't... This isn't the poor bastard's grave, is it? They buried him feet away from where he died. That's pretty morbid. Alright. Okay, so, at this point... I'm not sure what to do next about this one. So we got... Looks like we've got to go back to Talmberg. Find out the origin of the faulty stone. Alright, so we've got to leave and go back to Talmberg. But that's okay, it means we can drop by the quarry and pick our own stone up. We have enough gold for that now. So that's about as far as we can advance with this quest. So I guess we complete the next step of the other one and then we'll be heading back to Talmberg. Alright ladies and gents and back again. So um, yeah today seems to be the day for interruptions to my recordings. I just had to um, put a bit of a break on the computer. It is uh, ambient temperature inside my office at the moment is 46 degrees and uh, the poor machine was sort of uh, struggling a bit. I've installed a big custom cooler on but um, it's Australian summer, and in order to try and cut down on some of the noise, I've got to isolate the office from the air conditioning that's in the rest of the house. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, um, I've given it about half an hour, so let's finish this off. Now, we've got to talk to a man with a broken leg who should be inside here. I can't stay here. This one, wounded man, pickpocket, Matthias. Seems to be this one. Hmm. He's not reacting. But all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. I have to ask your hunker. Okay. Where is your hunker? She back inside? Where? Okay. I've lost track of where everybody is. Crimps. Ask the wounded loudmouth about the crimps. The guy over here to speak to. No, Henry. it's Johanka over here to speak How to. How are you? I'm not doing too bad, my dear. What are we going on here? What's happening here? Oh my god. Philip and. 
The room. Yes. Where do you think the wounded ended up? Actually, I, I had no idea. Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scalettes was raised. Just the two of us. Can I help? Um, can I help at all? Certainly. We can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Rattai unconscious and I needed a healer. Hmm. How is everyone holding up? What can I do? Holding up? People who are dying, usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. Well, carry we don't on. have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. Don't unload on me, lady. All right. Nobody helps you here. Doesn't the monastery care for them? How are you doing? Why is the guard outside? Nobody Doesn't helps you. Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? You've got scholars all around you. <laughs> scholars, maybe, but they leave the healing up to God. Nicodemus is trying, but everything he knows is from his books. Take a look. Can I have a look at them myself? I know a little about healing. Do you now? And what would you do if you burnt yourself at the forge? First, you have to cool it down with water. Marigold ointment helps, and it's better if you don't bind it and let it breathe. Hmm. You do know what you're talking about. <coughs> Looks like blacksmiths know about more than just pulling teeth. Pulling teeth? Nothing to it. As long as you don't squeeze the pincers too hard and crush them. Well, go and see if anyone needs anything. Just don't go pulling anyone's teeth. Aha. Uh -huh. See, play nice with me. Uh, doesn't the monastery care for them? Doesn't the monastery care for them? They give us some food for them and a place to sleep. But I wouldn't say they help exactly. More like they just tolerate us. Mm, sounds about right for this place. Do you have enough food? Do you food? have enough food? <laughs> enough to survive, maybe. But convalescents need feeding up. Maybe if I brought some meat, some game, that would strengthen them up. That would be a great help. Looks like I'm going hunting. Sufficient game meat and bring it, uh, bring it to Johanka. I know a place where you can get some boars. Do you have enough food? Anything else you need? Anything else you need? Look around. Well, it is a little crowded. Crowded? I've had to leave some of the sick lying in the open air, even at night. And have you seen what they're lying on? Hmm. I'll try to negotiate better conditions with the monastery. I tried that, out loud. They just nod their heads, but don't move a muscle. Yeah, but I have a mace. That tends to be very persuasive. Hmm. Very well. Okay, so this isn't exactly what I was intending to come across. Well, how are, how you, are doing? you doing? You're the only woman here, alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me, but other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around in front of me. And, um, what else? What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. I could do something about it, if, if you like. <sighs> no, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. It won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees. Oh, come on, I'll only break one of his kneecaps. You'll still be able to walk. You'll be fine. Um, why is the guard outside? Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because of you? Yes. There was one time I just had enough of it all, of the way they treat us, and I almost slapped one of... But that doesn't matter. Fiery. If I didn't know I already have a lady, I might be interested. What can you tell me about the custodian? What can you tell me about the custodian? He's supposed to be in charge of all the guards and the security of the monastery. But really, he has a say in pretty much everything, including supplies. Oh, really now? And that's really why he probably now? thinks he can do whatever he wants. Really now? Isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? All right, that's all I need to know. There was somebody Look, up here who Henry, seemed to have ties with everything. I know I can speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Last week, Bohuslav died. Maybe you knew him. 
And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. All right, so I'll take around. What's wrong with the man with the bandaged leg? That is a better question. First, What's wrong with that man by that? the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale and doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg, a bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to straighten it, but I don't know if we did it right. I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before, and it didn't end well. My God, there has to be something we can do. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. <sighs> what about the Rattay Executioner? Jesus. Um, I'll straighten well, his I leg. I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? Unfortunately, I've had occasion to try this sort of thing before. You have to place the bones as precisely as you can next to each other. It's hard, but you have to ignore any screams of pain. That's the only way to help him. Well, fine. Try it then. All right. So, um, this was a very interesting discussion. Now, I wasn't expecting to have to completely renovate and rework this place at this point. But um, the custodian... He sounds like a person that I need to break a kneecap of anyway. But first, let's set this bloke's leg. Are you holding him firmly? Aye. This is going to make some noise. Wakey, wakey, sunshine. I like that they even subtitled that. <laughs> Done. All right, Thomas, I will be back to have a conversation with you later when you've woken up. And, um, yeah, if you don't tell me what I want to know, I'll unset that leg. So, from there, let's take a look. Matthias, let's take a look at you. I'm not needed here. Yeah, judging from the blood, he's fucked. Moving on. He'll be able to get out of this on his own. Okay, fair enough. He just needs to sleep. I'm good at this. He just needs to sleep. <coughs> huh? What? What do you want? You look all right. Mostly, but my leg still hurts. Did the cumans wound you? I can't stay here. <laughs> That's what I tell the ladies. Truth is, I did myself a mischief while I was running away. Hmm. And do they rebandage it for you? Occasionally. They told me they don't have enough bandages. Well, that's no use. Those bandages need changing. I I've got bandages, so I can take care of it. Wonderful. Could you tell Brother Nicodemus? I can do it myself. I can do it myself. <laughs> um, I thought you were a blacksmith. As far as you're concerned, a I'm long God. Time ago. But unfortunately, I've had to learn a thing or two about the art of medicine since then. What will happen to well, my fine then. Good luck. Uh, what? What was it? How are you feeling? Good. It feels clean. Hope it helps. It will. Tell them to rebandage you daily. You have the bandages here. Thank you very much, Henry. Don't mention it. All right. May the Lord watch over you. He just needs to sleep. Yeah. Where? What's happening? You're not from Scalitz. No. But please help me. I can't stay here. What happened, what happened to you? To you? I was working on the building when the scaffolding up by the roof collapsed underneath me. Well, and you're very lucky you survived at all. Yes, that's what everyone tells me. But it's no use being alive if all I can do is lie here like a wet sack of barley. Yeah, that's fair enough. I can sort of agree with that. Well, you're pretty battered, but I don't see anything that a few weeks rest can't fix. Weeks? My oh God, I have to get back to work sooner than that. Why not What's the problem? Stay? Why can't you stay until you heal? I have a family. I'm poor. 
It's only thanks to the building work that we can survive. And the master told me, if I don't come back in a few days, then I shouldn't come back at all. And where can me and my wife go then? Who'll take us in? We'll end up living in the woods where any bandit or ruffian can set on us. I happen to have a town. Is that an option? Is there anything I can do to help? It looks like they took care of your wounds. When I was little, my father got trampled on by a horse, and an old hag from the village gave him some kind of purple herbs for it. And he got better very quickly. And do you remember what the herbs were? I don't. But there's supposed to be the whole cursed knowledge of the world in this place. Something has to be written about it. A herbarium. Anything. Uh, I'll try to find something. Some of you have an alchemy quest Thank here. you. God be with you. Herbs for Schmeck. Okay, so you're running into a few things to actually do here. That's not so bad. Lockpick, very easy. Um, yeah, it's probably not bad. Probably not a good idea to go robbing everybody in here. Everything here is fine. Insomniac. Christ above! I can't get a wink of sleep! What are you making such a fuss about? A fuss? Because of my leg, I have to stay here for at least another week. Hurts like fuck. And with everyone else moaning and groaning all night, I can't get any sleep. I'll help you. We will start with going somewhere else. There's a 50-50 shot he's going to be talking about medicine and he's going to be talking about his mace. Why don't you go and lie somewhere else? I can't. Not with this leg. Let's see what happens. Maybe I can make you something to help you sleep. Ah, it's medicine. Oh, for Damn God's it. sake, do it quickly. I'm Good sort of disappointed. All right, so I have two alchemy things that I've got to do here. Cool. I'm not needed here. All right, so... Philip... From Scallets. Hmm. I don't see any wounds, but he's shaking terribly. Hmm. I didn't have an option here. Well, I can't do anything in here just yet, so I have a couple of other quests to do first. <coughs> I have a curator that I'm going to have to speak to as well. Um, quest log. House of God. In God's hands. If you can't beat him. Find out where the crimps meet in Sassel. Ask the wooden loudmouth. About the crimps. Where is the wounded loudmouth? Thought he would have... The wounded loudmouth about the crimps. He was in there. Which one? I can talk to him now. Uh, yeah. What's going on? Quiet. You're better. See, you look much better. No, I feel much better. Then I heard it was all down to you. Thank you. If you ever need to know about anything that's going on in Sasau, come and see me. There's nothing much happens here without my knowledge. Thomas is my name. Good. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Now that you're better, do you know anything about the crimps here in Sasa? How are you doing? Feeling better yet? Aye, much better. I'm truly grateful. A bit longer and I'll be able to run back to the woods and carry on. Well, never mind. Very kind of you to look in on me. Truth be told, I didn't come just for your health. What do you need? Well, I've heard tell there's work for fearless men who enjoy a bit of silver. Ah, I believe I can help you with that. Excellent. They used to frequent the tavern, but now they meet in the church. The church? Aye, that's right. The church is locked at night, but if you see a light, the door will be open. Go in there and wait. Say a prayer or something, and then you'll see. That's it? I don't need to speak to anyone? Just doing what I told you is enough. They'll give you a good look over and see if you've got the metal. Don't you worry about that. All right, thank you. Oh. You took care of me, why wouldn't I help you? Tit for tat, eh? Indeed, oh, well. I like you. I like you. I'll leave your, you leave your leg nice and set, and uh, you might be very useful to have in this town. Very, very, very useful. 
night. So it is coming up on night at the moment. After the affair with the counterfeiters, go to the Crimson Meeting Place and find out the location of the camp. Okay, so we've got that one in God's hands. Help with healing the sick in the monastery. Get sufficient game meat and bring it to Johanka. So we need 100 game. And then get better. Get healing herbs. Find out what happened to Philip. I'm guessing the herb, the obviously the, the herbs for Schmeck and finding something for the Insomniac to fall asleep, they're both going to be alchemy, and I'm reckoning what happened to Philip is going to be exactly the same. Um, the meat. The meat is probably what we're going to have to handle first. But, where exactly would I expect to see of the church. Go to the Crimson Meeting Place and try and find them from the location of the camp. Alright, so it's this one. It's not the monastery, it's the church. Alright, so what we might do first is we might uh, take care of this and then come back, because I do want to help the sick people here. I'm not a total asshole. I'm only a slight one. But uh, this is important, and we are getting into uh, night time here, so this may be a perfect time to see whether or not we can set upon these guys. But, for that one, we may actually have to leave that for the next episode. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this one, and thank you very much for watching. As always, check the video description down below for links to my social media, my Twitch, my Discord, my Patreon, my subscribe star. <laughs> it gets a bit long. The important ones are my Teespring and my Displate, which I'm hoping will be up by now. Um, this is where I'm doing all my graphic design work, and this is essentially where the future of this channel and the future of uh, myself on this platform actually lies. So that's definitely the one I want you to pick out sooner than anything else. Until next time, guys, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and as always, take care.